Hi, welcome to CSURams.com along with Mark Driscoll, Brian Roth, play-by-play -play voice of the Colorado State Rams as we get set for the season opener coming up on Friday night, the Rams and the Buffaloes. Mark, we've seen this team now for nearly a month. Uh, give me your thoughts on, on fall camp. What has kind of stuck out to you? What stuck out the most, Brian, was, was the battle for the quarterback position. And it's a yet-to-be-named quarterback, so the competition has been stiff for a lot of positions, but most noticeably at quarterback. Yep. A lot of competition for the positions at wide receiver. Eight guys probably have a chance of, of playing this year. Uh, the other thing that stands out is four Colorado guys on the offensive line, strong, experienced. Uh, the, the offensive line, probably the strength of the team. Solid running backs from last year. This is a team that's got some players particularly on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, you know, we're talking to folks that have been around the program for a while, and one of those, we're talking to Johnny Square moments ago out here on yeah. the practice field and said, hey, this is the most athletic team I've seen in Colorado State in a long, long time since those early Sunny Lubick Day teams. Yeah. Let's start with the offense and the quarterback. We, we, we talked about, you and I went to the scrimmage two weeks ago and said, no, I can't see Nick Stevens not starting. Now, we don't know who is starting, but uh, you and I kind of had the general thought that Nick might be starting. But if he does, Mark, I mean, he's going to give them a little sense of equanimity going into that game Friday. He uh, last year threw for 2,700 yards, 21 touchdowns, great stats. In the scrimmage, he was steady, he was calm, he was precise with his throws. I think he was 7 for 9 or 8 for 10, right. you know, hit, hit a high percentage of his passes. He looked confident. In and out of the huddle. Sometimes you look at the intangibles. So the team was in and out of the huddle nicely. Drove, had some nice drives. So Nick, he really did look like the guy that day on the scrimmage. Well, if Nick Stevens can come out and improve on a season that he had last year, I think the Ram offense can be in good shape here. We talked about the offensive line. You know, the four starters coming back. I think it's the best offensive line in the Mountain West Conference. Then you look Absolutely. at the running backs. And, and of course, we all know about Dalen Dawkins. We know about Izzy Matthews. But what we got to see at that scrimmage a couple of weeks ago was a couple of those freshmen, including Marvin Kinsey Jr. He was spectacular in that scrimmage. So who's that number 25 where I'm looking at the right. list going, Wow. Doesn't look like a freshman. He doesn't He doesn't look, act like a freshman. 6'1", right. 190. He was breaking tackles, ball up the field. He got that natural body lean. He had some explosion. Remember when he broke out the tackle, and then he popped it up for another 15 yards. He's a nice-looking freshman back from Atlanta. I think it's going to be fun for the fans to watch him. About a month ago, I put together a list of my biggest questions for Colorado State football coming into the year. It's just a way that you know, yeah. I, I prepare for the season. Hey, what are the things that I'm looking at this year? And one of the things that I wrote down, who was going to be the guy on the outside offensively, the wide receiver, that was not going to replace Richard Higgins because you're not going to do that, no. not going to replace Joe Hansley, but who are the guys that, that are going to be able to create explosive plays on the outside? And there's, there's a handful of guys there that are fighting for that. There really are. I think the guy that jumped out in the scrimmage that we saw, the big scrimmage, was Sammy Long. Right. He made a couple of great catches, got behind uh, the DBs a couple of times. It looks like he's got the acceleration, Brian, to run through the ball. Uh, so I, I, really, I really liked him. You know, Elroy Masters yeah, has been in and out a little bit injured. He looked pretty good. Xavier Williams, those guys are experienced. Xavier's got, he's got the most catches right. of anybody coming back. 49 career catches. 49 for career Williams, catches. Right. So, I mean, this guy's played and caught the ball, so we look forward to him. He's a guy that's shown some speed in the past. So, and then there's the young guys, yeah. freshman Hawkins, right. you know. Made a great catch out here earlier yeah, today. Yeah, he's got some talent. Uh, BC Johnson, you know, he looks good. So, yeah, there's, there's depth. It looks yeah. like there's depth. And, and most coaches like with their wideouts, they like to run them in and out, different formations, situationals, uh, certain guys in certain situations, some guys run different routes better right. than others, all of that. So I think we'll see a lot of wide receivers rotating in and out this year. Yeah, who's gonna be that guy though that becomes mm. kind of the go-to guy on the outside? Again, Michael Gallup, who looks the part, certainly made a yeah. great one-handed catch here today as well. All right. We know about the offense. I, th I think we feel the offense is gonna be okay coming up on Friday night Pretty excited and the rest about of the year. Them. Defense, there's a few more questions. Three, four starters, depending on how you look at it, coming back. Defensive line, they're breaking in just about everybody new oh, outside of Love and Good. Shoot played a little bit last year. And then on the back end, a lot of new guys, Mark. Well, Kevin Davis is going to have to be the absolutely stabilizing force on that defense. And, you know, it, Kevin's a guy that could play at the next level. He's got the size and speed. He's got he's made 102 tackles last year. He's an experienced guy, so you sort of build it around that guy. Yeah, the secondary, I mean, we only got one returning. Uh, Tyree Simmons, the only guy back from last year. 
Uh, you know, we've got a converted wide receiver and, and Maiden going yeah. over there. And he's, he's, he's looked good. He's, he he's has. Good. And, you know, and he's tall and long and no, he can run. No game experience, though. You yeah, know? And you that's, know, that's the thing that they're fighting against, right? Yeah, I think, I think we ought to be able to, okay, covering people. But, you know, on the secondary, you have to come up and tackle, too. And I think that will be interesting. Defensive line, yeah. it's kind of all new guys. Other than loving good, nobody's really yeah. played very can much. Can you rush the quarterback? Yeah. It's going to be the big question, I think, for Colorado State. And, and can you rush a quarterback that has four years' experience like Colorado's quarterback does in Seth Lufau? Quickly, as we wrap it up, uh, Colorado, one of the most experienced teams yeah. in the entire nation. Is this the year that the Buffaloes, I think a lot of their fans and their coaching staff, you heard Mike McIntyre say yeah. this week that this is the year they really feel like they can take that next step. I've heard Coach McIntyre talk a couple of years ago about, okay, you rebuild, you lose, then you lose close, and then you win close in his third year. Well, they didn't quite get that done last year, winning close. They got most of those kids back. Very experienced team, strong up front in the offensive line. Lindsey's back as a running back. Uh, there, I think they've got some questions at wide receiver. Secondary, got you have to tell me how to say his Awuzie. name. Okay. Chinobe, Awuzie. Awuzie, number four. Just look for number four. Right. He's a good player. Really good they, player. They got some. They got better talent, and they've played a lot. Starts, you know, when you talk about coaches, talk look at players. How many starts do they have? Yeah. You got a lot of guys who've started a lot of games. A lot of guys who've started, no question, in a program that wants to turn around from four and nine season of a year ago. Of course, the Rams trying to build off their third consecutive bull trip. And uh, trying to make it four straight here this year should be a lot of fun, partner. It'll Looking be great. Forward to Look it. forward we'll be down to it. At Mile high coming up on Friday night. TV coverage on ESPN begins at six o'clock. We'll be on the air on the Colorado State Sports Network beginning at four again. Kickoff at six. All right, for Mark Driscoll, Brian Roth. We'll see you Friday night. Thanks for watching right here on CSURams.com.